Uh, Keith, Parham, <coughs> uh, Modesto, California. I feel really good about my upcoming fight. Um, I feel confident, I feel, I feel good with my health and my diet and my training, so I feel pretty good about my next upcoming fight. Uh, my last fight at Bellator was freaking amazing. Just fighting for Bellator, just, just seeing how they work and just how they actually, big promoter like that, it just gave me the feel of just fighting for someone that has a bigger organization and even bigger crowds in the near future. Uh, fought for LFA just one time before. Uh, LFA is a great promote promotion. They're in the top, the top ten to me. They conduct themselves pretty good, and and they, how they organize their upcoming fight towards the fight and how they start the fight. I think it's pretty good. The top tier to the top fights. Uh, after my recent fight, I feel like I improved with just my wrestling pretty much and my grappling, I feel it got a lot better. My striking, I feel it's just getting even better. So just all around, my, just I'm working on my whole my freestyle skills, just, just everything's pretty much working pretty good and every, all my skill levels, just everything's just going pretty good. Uh, my goal for the future of fighting, I feel I'm having fun with it also, but I still want to fight for a big organization like UFC or Bellator and hopefully make more money. I love the sport and if it takes me farther than to win a belt, I'll, I'll, that's my main goal is to win a belt in the top organization in the world. Uh, I feel what type of fighter I am, I feel like I'm a all around freestyle fighter. I feel like I want to be all around game, just Muay Thai, grappling, boxing, Jiu Jitsu, even even like uh, judo. I feel like I want to put all that in my game and put that in the cage and, and I feel like I want to be mostly all around skill fighter. Uh, my next opponent is Tyler Madison. Uh, I feel, I've seen his a couple of videos, I feel he's a, a great wrestler. I feel the striking's there, there, really almost there, but I feel like I, he's a good fighter. I feel he's gonna bring the best out of me. And I, I don't know if I fought his last teammate out. I, I don't really know. I haven't looked into that, so. Uh, my family life is pretty good. I everything's pretty going pretty good, especially with my family. Uh, we keep in contact. I, my family's pretty good. Oh yeah, all my family support me. My sisters and my cousins, they all support me. Uh, most of them live in, some of them live in the state, but we're all around California, uh, Canada, Iowa, Nebraska. We're all around pretty much, so we're pretty spread out. Uh, I feel I'm used to bigger, well, all the bigger promotion, bigger stage, the bigger crowd. I feel like I'm, I'm very comfortable with after a couple fighting for LFA and in Bellator. I feel like I'm prepared for even bigger crowds. Like I'm pretty much I'm comfortable in any position, any any crowd, any action fair. I feel like I'm there. <clears throat> uh, my cutting weight right now, I weigh 170, and it's going pretty good. Like I feel like I'm up where I needed to be. I'm a month away from the fight, and I only need 15 pounds to cut. I feel I'm pretty good. My diet is going pretty good right now. I'm just need to put my training together and and make sure I'm on diet and make sure I'm making weight at the weigh-ins.
Uh, man, I like to thank freaking everybody who's been supporting me, my family, especially my family, man. They always been there. My cousin, my sisters, my mom and them, and my cousin, my auntie, they always been there. They all supported me. And my teammates, man. Without my teammates, I, I wouldn't even be here. They support me, my co coach Bruce, and everybody who's been there since day one with me. I, I can't thank them enough, man. Like, I, I love you guys. I couldn't be there without you guys. All your support just, just give me a drive to even work even harder.